Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are going to beat the game, hopefully beat the game, uh, with only two soldiers' permission. My name is Saiken, and uh, this is going to be our next Guerrilla Ops mission. We have uh, the selection between three missions. Uh, this one here uh, will, uh, unfortunately, we are not going to counter that dark event, so Chosens are more likely to occur. Shit happens. Secondly, we either get an engineer, which I really would want to have, but I feel that destroying an alien relay is actually difficult. The other option here is getting uh, further behind enemy lines and, um, uh, and uh, sabotaging a transmitter, which is okay. I mean, we can do that more likely than not. Um, plus, there is the Horde, uh, which is uh, just an extended amount of loss, which is great. Keep in mind, we have some more, uh, some higher timer this time, plus two uh, turns. And um, we also get additional turns uh, for every uh, transmitter kill. Uh, since good old Grandfather um, could be there again, and with Grandfather I mean the Warlock, I make sure that we have our mind shield packed. Roby, on the other hand, uh, is ready, as ready as one can be. He got uh, a good old improvised magnetic rifle, plus 10 aim and an advanced repeater. Yep, this is still from the legacy uh, pack that I played through. So great weapon with a couple of upgrades. Uh, both of them run improved. Um, uh, improved uh, conditioning so we actually have a couple of hit points to work with let's see how Magister and Roby are going to do I'm actually quite excited to uh, go with both of them onto this next uh, mission had been a while uh, since we could use them let's hope we're not getting uh, too injured in the process because it took us a while and they actually had a couple of uh, covert ops in between so let's see if they have learned a valuable lesson and if we can use them all right let's go baby let's go as for the general game state turns out to be actually quite good so far um, it's a different set of challenges as compared to the four men um, ballistic weapons only double enemy hit points um, permanent dark events uh, run which was really kind of the slow hardcore-ish grind where every single mission just uh, was a slugfest intensive fights over and over and over super long uh, timers never had been a problem and really there were a lot of uh, close calls but mainly uh, due to the uh, the fights themselves this here is a bit different right um, we have a couple of insta kills uh, happening uh, specifically with the uh, the whole um, explosives that I'm quite frankly abusing a bit um, with Dragonova. So yeah, it's a bit different. It's uh, it's maybe more a showcase of how to do the game even with li very limited resources. Often I see players asking like, how would you, um, how am I supposed to play? if an operator for two just died and keep in mind at this point in the game you should have six operatives like the game is assuming that you're running with six so per definition my missions uh, start with uh, four operatives already being dead right uh, so to that, that uh, kind of gives you an insight how much cushion there is if you play it right uh, to to still pull it off All right, both of them charge in. Lo the loss are somewhere, not to be found yet. I'm still scanning the uh, uh, parameter here to see if we would have at least some transmitter, because transmitters mean more, more time.
Roger that. We need to move as far as we can. Really, there is little other option. We want to get there at the end of the day. So might as well aim for the door. Good copy. Moving on target. Taking solid cover over here. I trust in your command. Nice, we got Blade Storm now. I almost forgot about this. And we got Perry. That's good enough. Moving to here, Agreed. just to double check that we do see all of the potential transmitters. The two extra uh, turns really pay dividends in this particular mission, because uh, it usually has a very low amount of t uh, turns. But with the two extra turns, it's actually quite enjoyable. I imagine without the two extra turns, we were we would already be down at t uh, to two turns, right? Orders confirmed. On the move. Usually here we are going to see the first, uh, yeah, the first transmitter. I was about to say, uh, that's no surprise here. I comply. Lots of losses. One there, one there, okay. You know, there's another transmitter over here, another transmitter over here. All right. Let's just make sure we hit everything. The loss will trigger and move towards us. That's okay, I don't mind. Wow, the game lags a bit. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. This guy here is a bit close, to be honest, but we can't see him yet. Lots of 90% shots. Let's close the door. Got the extra timer. I'm fine with it. And there is Grandfather. <laughs> so predictable. But this time we're immune against his uh, mind control. And we have Perry. So the fight will be quite different. The Chosen aren't going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location to take them out. All right, all right. Roby starts cleaning house. Nice little 100% shots. Reloading. Let's continue the good old grind here. I got it, right? That's it. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Thank you. 
We're instead going to... What the heck is actually happening? Thank you, dear virus scanner. All right, back. Um, so... Between the Ice offers us uh, the opportunity to continue killing and killing and killing. Well, I suppose this here is fine. Might as well move up here. Good part about his um, his sidearm is it doesn't take any ammunition, so we can just continue shooting and shooting and shooting until we miss, of course. So the first zombie should be. Um, Yep, there we go, Spectre Zombie. Oh, wow. Alright, thank you for Blade Storm. I like it. So if we were to kill a zombie, the other one would automatically die. charging in completely or just moving a bit ahead building up the focus which is important got momentum slash parry we're going to this is a hundred percent hit right yeah we're going to reload gonna take the shot that's going to kill both of them. Good, and we're taking the, uh, the parry. The explosion conveniently triggered another swarm, which maybe will swarm the warlock. Oh my gosh. That's a rather big swarm. Wow, that's a rather big swarm. I am grateful for having a uh, blade storm now. All right, moving into solid cover. What's over there? This here can uh, give us one more turn. And I'm a bit careful in moving up. Uh, there's going to be a very, very sizable swarm uh, coming up next. We could charge in, uh, but I don't know if there is another alien Pekoa if we just fight against uh, the loss here. So that's why we're taking the safe route. Which means let's up the clock again. Wow, 
one more turn until the next uh, zombie is go uh, going to be uh, summoned. By the way, uh, the summon zombie apparently does not uh, take into consideration how many um, how many uh, guys you have in your squad, because um, it seems to be a function of how f far you progress within the game. Now he is summoning two, maybe he's going to summon three uh, a little bit later in the game. Roby continues to execute. One down. Two down. Reload. Three down. That's good. Not sure. This here seems to be a graphical bug. Well, that guy is not really existing. Uh, might as well move in. We could have another action with teamwork. I know that looks like a lot, but we do not have an ammunition problem. Keep in mind, we can actually clear out most of these guys. And we do have Bladestorm. With Between the Eyes, uh, we should be quite comfortable getting all of them, or almost all of them, down. I'll save this one here for a parry attack. There's another one here, interestingly enough. Well, we could move up to here, but that would be very, very ballsy. Standing up here gives us maximum focus. And yet another pack of of uh, loss. Interesting. They are too far away to be dangerous. The only one uh, that is endangering us is this guy here. We're going to use Perry. Not momentum. And we're going to use teamwork now. Just to clean up. We can even get a double parry if we so desire. So let's continue. Killing. Still good enough. I take 86% chance. He's a killer machine, I like it. 74% uh, gets a bit more, prob uh, becomes a little bit more problematic. Let's just take the, uh, let's just take uh, the transmitter and let the loss come a bit closer. We have parry, so the warlock um, cannot do anything against us at the moment. If he takes a shot, he's mo most likely going to just mind control and fail miserably. Well, this is actually dangerous. Those two guys might cause a problem. Gosh, can we please stop the um, the antivirus for now? So he was trying to mind control. Um, I assume the mind control has failed. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay. Oh my god. This is going to suck. For them. Or for us. Let's clear the landscape a little bit. Take a couple of hundred percent shots. All right. This here moving in would mean uh, that we could place the C4. But the question is, do we need to do that? Can we move back, kill a couple of them, leave the rest alone? Arguably an option. Yeah, we're not just going to half-heartedly do the mission. We're going all the way. The oh boy. This is going to be an intense slaughter. So many losses. So you can now see why I absolutely love uh, Between the Eyes. So, hmm, how are we going to play uh, this one? Unfortunately, we can't see these guys at the moment, but we can change that. There is no one back here, so might as well move a bit further in. There we go. That's what we needed to see. Might as well move all the way here and uh, then carry. That could be a that could be an actually a, a good play, or we use momentum to move completely out of line of sight. protocol gets him into more than full cover there is no grenade no AOE attack we could move him up to here uh, this guy would move up but blade storm would kill it and we would be out completely out of line of sight so might as well do that Let's go, baby. Good 
two new spectral zombies. No, it's only one, right? Yeah, and it dies immediately. No, it's actually it's a second one. <sighs> All right, so if we were to hit this guy there is a chance that we're not killing it, which would suck. Moving over here. Come on, and let's kill him. Good job, well done, Roby. So, I mean, we could move in, but we could also just stay back here and let them fight it out. If this guy here gets hit one or uh, once or twice more, he's in one shot range, six to seven. Certainly could hit him uh, and kill him and then just parry. Those guys here would die from uh, uh, from the Bladestorm. We could parry his one shot. Problem is, I don't know if the Warlock would take a shot at us. Um, his mind control should be up again, so he's most likely trying to uh, mind control us. But it's not sure if the uh, AI understands it. And maybe he just takes a pot shot um, and we would have only one, um, one parry so far. Lots of 90% plus plays. You know, I mean, We could also kill this guy and then move just back here, which is completely out of range. I think that's a reasonable approach. So let's move to here first. We're going to take a couple of headshots. One. Two. Magister is uh, coming up big uh, this run. Three. Four. Five. We're going to leave uh, this guy over here. Let's kill this guy. And we can use momentum to just move out. The idea was good, but then Ah. 
All right, that means a couple of weeks of healing time. Nice, he's disoriented. That's good. We're just going to parry. Warlock most likely will not have a chance to react. Scope is decent. I probably should have played that different. Uh, I'm a little bit miffed that uh, we have now... Um, Took an, uh, that we have took uh, that we took an injury. All right, I will leave the two of uh, them to fight it out. We do have a pretty solid grasp on who is going to win this one on one. Because I think that the warlock can do quite exactly nothing to hit uh, to hurt us. Reloading and just let's wait. Orlok takes another hit thanks to Bladestorm. <laughs> and he's going to regret this day. Nice try, buddy. Not going to work. Your forces will perish and you will return to the Elder's command. There we go. Let's parry. Another hit. And that's a solid parry. Let's see if we can kill the zombies right away. They should move closer to us. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Alright, so that's one down. The Warlock will stay in his stasis until we have killed the army. Parrying. Nice little blade storm. Continue to rend him. I do have a pretty solid feeling we're going to win this year. Down to four hit points. A 
Nice try, buddy. I cannot hide for long. My power proceeds me wherever I go. All right. Pretty solid fight. Overall good. I did one crucial mistake here. Although we were in, uh, to be honest, we were in uh, full uh, cover, so it kind of sucked that we still got hit, but yeah, I could have played that way better. Fifty-two kills, that's pretty good. Threaten the union between humanity and the elders. Today, with the destruction of vital infrastructure, they would now threaten our very way of life. We must follow the example of the elders. Nice. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Well. Well, 60 days isn't too bad. I like the double promotion. Got our field medic here. Good job. And with the promotion comes deflect. And sustain. By the way, sustain is brilliant. Just out of curiosity, do we also have Fortress? Yeah, Fortress is a real option as well. Fortress is super good as well. Immunity to fire, poison, acid, uh, and explosive damage. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to go for that one. Let's respec the Reaper for now and go for Fortress. It's just very good because uh, this way I don't need to... Uh, fear the purifiers anymore. Uh, chrysalids are not a problem. A lot of things are not a problem with that. Uh, the deflect is good as well. I like it. This here is faster um, buildup of of uh, focus. That's also very good. Uh, not to mention that sustain is pretty pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to go with Reflect, which I like. Amplify, by the way, is also not bad. Overcharge, by the way, is also not bad. So a lot of abilities are quote unquote, by the way, also not bad. Uh, this here is becoming a very strong Templar. Uh, Fortress plus Bladestrom um, plus the parry abilities just make him a walking powerhouse for now. Might not look uh, like it at the moment uh, with being wounded and all, but believe me, he will eventually pick up. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens. Dark event countered, left behind. Uh, that means uh, it was the dark event uh, which um, captures, automatically has a chance of captures on our resistant ring missions. Another scientist is perfect. Plated armor just got reduced even further. Five scientists for now is good. Three engineers clearly is too little. Guerrilla Tactic Schools, uh, just so we're aware. Uh, yeah, squad size upgrades doesn't mean shit for us. Um, the individual upgrades from Captain are good. Templar is really, really good. Specialist is okay uh, for reaction shot builds. Sharpshooter is okay. Actually, all of them are okay, but Templar is probably one of the better ones. Good. All things considered, that was successful. There's another soldier, which, if we were to scan for it, would be currently not a corporal, but a sergeant. 
We want another sergeant. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Could be a helpful additional soldier, I suppose. Your forces fought admirably today, Commander. We could heal faster, but yeah. Their efforts have done little to slow the advance of the Elder's vision for the future. We need more contacts, to be honest. So now that we have cleared uh, this one room, Proving Ground could be very helpful in order to progress the storyline and also do a couple of really key research uh, topics um, uh, such as uh, the improved med packs, improved grenades, um, the special armor uh, with uh, grappling hooks. So I think we are going for Proving Ground. Uh, infirmary would be also nice, resistance communications would be nice. We can somewhat emulate the infirmary with scanning. So resistance comms, yeah, there's really no alternative, but there's also no alternative uh, to the proving grounds. I think we're even going to speed up the proving grounds, mainly because I want a couple of uh, the items researched and for the upgraded armor in 11 days, plated armor, I want the uh, grappling suit because it'll give us the ability for high ground much more often. Look at that, perfect. With a better understanding of the remote communication system to use around the world, the cost of constructing resistance communication facilities is reduced by 50%. Well, that's actually a, uh, that's actually a pretty good um, option. And we got promoted with Colonel Zirkum. Hello there. Let's first of all do the promotion and then see what we would need next. I think Rupture is pretty good. Saturation Fire is also very good. Uh, I think well, I think we're going with Saturation Fire because it's an AoE ability and we have little other AoE abilities. Rupture is also really, really good. But let's go with Saturation Fire for now. You can also get the other one uh, just as easy. So, as for him, I mean, his ranks also brought him abilities. Uh, unfortunately, his individual soldier AP haven't really caught up. But with Untouchable and Death from Above, it's more than enough for now. He's definitely a strong pick. Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council. So we know that the Templar is out for 11 days, which means we can put Roby on a covered ops mission. If only to start leaking intel to the resistance. Let's see if we can get a nice bonus. Health plus one is good. I like also the uh, increased faction influence. Probably we're going to go for this. Another health plus one. Also not bad. Do we have aim somewhere? We don't. Mobility plus one is also good. And I mean, six days are actually insanely low. Plus, it'll give us more ability points. Hmm. All right. 
I am convinced. Let's do this. I mean, six days, easy peasy. Mobility plus one is good for Roby. Makes him faster. Uh, mobility is highly underrated. If you have more mobility, you are actually going to have an easier time setting up flanks. Um, we want to go with the Cho Assassin um, next. Let's take a look. Supply drop is in six days. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the six days mission because we will get new missions afterwards. And new missions means we might end up with another mission uh, that allows us to delay the um, Avatar project. Let's just hope your people can keep up. All right. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. <laughs> another facility, beautiful. This is looking so dire. I mean, we do have one, two, three, four facilities so far. <laughs> yeah. Great. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, that's what's uh, usually happening if you end up with uh, so many facilities. We might want to go for a facility lead. Sergeant uh, Fabrio Marino, specialist. Great. We got another specialist. Ellen Alois. Oh, yeah, we definitely want them. But before we're going to scan for it, take a look at our newcomer. I mean, look at this cyber here. All happy and proud. Nice of rocking these nice little cornrows. Love it. Medical protocol, revival protocol, thank you. Yeah, we could use him in case something is going sour. I mean, he's a sergeant, so he could sub in if we need a plus one on any of the missions. Let's get the alien alloys. Something that we definitely could use. Let alone for the armor. For upgrading the plated armor. Okay, aliens improve their threat response procedures. Guaranteed reinforcements on all guerrilla ops missions for one month. That sucks. That was the hidden. Um, that was the hidden uh, event that was happening which we could have countered uh, pretty bad. And Chosens are much more likely to appear in combat. That was uh, the one in South Africa. So actually two of them happened, Wild Hunt and Rapid Response, great. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. It is unfortunate, Commander that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. <laughs> but what are you even talking about? Recent efforts so mediocre? There will be no refuge. No more to hide. Uh, that is good. More likely to capture soldiers, okay. That is not good. Uh, sabotaging the Avenger usually means um, they are trying to uh, hunt down the engineers. This here would suck, signal jamming. Alloy padding also sucks, but I think signal jamming is worse. Next alien facility in three weeks. Gosh, we gotta up, uh, up our game, elsewise this is going to be over quite soon. Extra bonus XP, yes. The mission timer was great. And we're certainly not changing the headshots. So, that's the loadout for now. Oh, gosh. Let's wait the five hours until tactical education is done. 
just found out, by the way, there is a powerful and dangerous alien down uh, uh, down there. Great. Glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. So, John, uh, 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 Roby's uh, um, ability for combat intelligence has increased to above average. That's okay. We might take the elders by surprise if we switch up our. There is the reduce avatar project. We could have a second reaper, which would be actually pretty dope. But we would need to increase uh, the faction level first. There is another promotion. Six days. It almost smells like Roby needs to do it. Huh. Lots of health plus one. Actually, two promotions. So that's not bad. Another eight day promotion. So this here might be a nice gateway for us to get um, another kernel. Anyways, for now, let's reduce uh, the time. Plus one health should be on Roby. Uh, Sergeant Plus, whom would we take? Let's see. I mean, quite frankly, we could take the other uh, specialist and continue with the three of them, which I think is the uh, wisest decision. There is a low chance of getting ambushed. The other option is we're going to go in with Renvan. I mean, that's fine as well. Might as well. So if they could be ambushed, let's just double check that their equipment is fine. Frag grenade certainly isn't good. All right, this looks much better. No one gets captured. Moderate chance of someone getting wounded. It is what it is. Ambushed. Okay. My followers will lead this action to victory. All right. Nine days, and we are going to reduce the avatar time, uh, the avatar project by two. It looks a bit rough. We probably, end of the month, we will have a filled out avatar project. There are just too many facilities. And usually a lot of facilities also mean there is a pretty decent chance that someone's making progress. Plated armor. There are great projects here, spider suits specifically, which we're um, taking as well as upgraded gauntlets, so thank you, that's good. We would need to get Illyrium next in order to get uh, the next weapon upgrade. I think, in the absence of uh, not having enough Illyrium. I don't need Psionics yet, we, we just don't have enough Illyrium. What we could do is, we could start the Vipers for better medkits or the Mutants for better grenades. Let's start with the Mutants. Central Officer Bra I certainly admire the courage and tenacity. Four more days and then we can uh, start with well the Proving Grounds. Well -trained enemy. And yet, they never waver their loyalty to the cause. All right. Um, 
Anything else that I'm forgetting? I do have the feeling we're too slow. Falling a bit behind the curve. Um, oh yeah. I know what I've uh, uh, what, what I almost forgot. There you go. This was us not falling behind the curve. We need more alien alloys, 60 to be precise. We got enough trooper corpses, got enough supplies, uh, got the alien alloys, almost. Let's first of all collect it. We got the black market still, uh, a bit of short on intel. This is our chance to actually get a lot of um, alien alloys and whew, and um, a lot of the alarium as well. Now this here is our chance, guys. So yeah, we're going to see that in the next mission, but we better we better make sure that this uh, run uh, that this uh, supply rate is going to be successful um, yeah okay good let me think uh, through how I'm going to go about the supply rate because it's also quite difficult and we still do not have armor upgrades so we're at that point where we're almost at a one shot uh, range and I don't like that anyways thank you for watching if you enjoyed what you've seen, consider uh, hitting the like button or leave a comment down below. And we're going to see each other in the next video of the Army of Turan. Take care and bye-bye.